Hey guys, thanks for watching. It's Dr. Linda Kramer with this month's horoscope. So here I am again at the lake today and I've got three pelicans here all sleeping. And I just want to pan around here so you can see that we do have some ducks finally have turned up. There's some ducks for you as well to watch this morning. And over here in the trees, we've got some birds. I don't know if you can see the birds over there, but it's very calm very tranquil here this morning um, it's about 8 15 a.m on monday the 31st of august so i'm oh, sorry 31st of july because today oh look at that pelican he just opened his mouth and did a big yawn so reverse that and have a look at that if you want to have a look at that a pelican yawning oh my god so here i am today i'm going to do this month's horoscope and the big message that I found while I was researching these all last night is thank God all the past month is now over. All the stress, all the anxiety. It's almost, <coughs> look at that pelican yawning. Oh my God, I'm just watching him. Because this is so pivotal that I'm watching this today. Because look how calm it is here today. And that's what I really want you all to remember going into this next month is just how calm our lives are now going to start getting. So I've got my notes here. So let's start. The first one I'm doing today is Aries. Aries, this is your transformation month. Yay! All the goodness that you've been planning, everything that you've been working on is coming out well this month. This is the month where good things are coming. It's your transformation month. So heaps of transformations are now occurring for you as well. Expect, expect changes, whether it's job, relationship or home. But overall, these will all be good transformations that happen. And the big message that I got from her, my lady, remember that the biggest transformation is always within us. So have a look at what's going on inside you as well as what's going out on the outside. Taurus, this is your month to do your emotional check-in. So emotions are now running high with you guys. So you may find yourself reminiscing on the past or in relation to relationships that you've had where you sit there and you're remembering things that happened, things that were said, and this is your month to go over, rehash, sort out where your energy is at, so, and we re-evaluate what others have taught you over the past couple of months. So this is where you can now do all that deep searching within yourself, psychoanalyzing to do that emotional check. My message from my girl, it says the greatest decisions are always those that we are emotionally attached to. So this is your time guys to really look at where you're going because the energy is changing and everyone's moving forward now. Gemini, this is your communication month. Communication now is key this month. Being able to listen and to reply logically. Now, how many times have I mentioned the words responding and reacting? Don't react to what others are saying this month. This is your time to negotiate and get those outcomes that you truly do deserve. Do your homework so whatever you speak about is accurate and informative. And the message from my lady says, overreacting is never productive so peace and love to our gemini people this month okay all righty now for the fourth one we're going into cancer this month is a good month to reassess your material possessions now funny thing my daughter is a cancer and she made a list this morning of all the things that she wants to sell so this is what we're doing this month. Money is favorable. So this will be able to be done for things like repairs or replacing items that need work. This is also the good time to do those inner psycho analyzing that helps clear out old energy. Okay, 
So your message from our lady this month, it says both physical and mental releases need to be addressed. So have a look at what you want to release from the past, Jet Cancers, and have a look at where you're going because you know our cup is always 100% full and if you're full of the past, how can we ever move forward? So it's time to let go and release. Leo, this is your love month. Ooh, this is where you'll be thinking about who you want to be with, where you're going, what partnerships and people that you want to be associated with. This is the month where you'll be assessing, do I want to move forward or stay in the position that I'm in? So pay attention to those that you love, like family and friends, because this is a very powerful month for your self-love also. Take, take, oh, start again. take a time out to recharge those sparks, okay? So this could be the month where you go out and do those extra date months, those date nights. This could be the month where you say, okay, I do like my favorite color. I'm going to go and buy some new clothes today to represent that love within me. All right. So your message from my lady, when we look within, we find our true happiness. How good is that for Leos this month? All right, Virgo. This is a slow month for you. Out of all the people not moving forward very much, it's our Virgos that are right down in that bottom bilge. So moving forward though, this is a perfect time to sit and take stock and to reevaluate where life is leading you. This is your time to be patient and to work out those opportunities that can come in any forms and it's when we slow down that we see the messages of what the universe truly wants us to be. So don't be upset if other people are moving forward when you're just still stagnant in the past because this is your time to really appreciate who you are, where you are and my message from my girl says pause and look for the signs of where your future is going. How do we know where we're going unless we psychoanalyze and work it out? Okay, now we go into our Libra people. Oh my gosh, I've got some duckies coming over. Look, I love the little lines. The, just here, guys, I just put my finger in front. It's just here. The little duckies are coming over. They think I've got some food for them. Okay, so I'm just going to watch here. So we've got the ducks coming over to have a little swim towards us. Okay. Here we go, Libra. This is your social month. Get out there and mingle. Whether you're talking to relationships of work, whether it's in relationships with your family or even your neighbors, this is your time to get out there and shine who you are so then people see who you truly are, okay? How do we ever move forward unless other people see who we are so then they too create what that magic is that we want to create. So here's our pelican. He's just moving around as well. I'm just going to, yep. And we've got some ibises flying over this morning. So that, that peng, pelican, just bear with me, he's just gone back up onto his rock again. All right. So Libra, this is your month to give you the motivation and drive to be at your best possible being. Wow, how is that for you this month? So my lady, she said, cooperation and consideration is key to social success. So being co cooperative and considerate. This is all about negotiation as well, guys. So Scorpios, as I come back over to the ducks, Scorpio, this is your shine month. Whatever you do and wherever you go and whoever you connect with, you are the star this month. Yay! Prepare for those meetings or phone calls so your true worth is appreciated this month. So this is where you've got to really be on top of who you want to be and what you want others to see within you. The warning that I got for you, now yes, I said it, it's a warning for you guys, Scorpions. The warning is to differentiate between being your true self and being overconfident. 
So this month you may find that you do say things where you're overexerting yourself. So be mindful of those times and truly let people see your inner worth. Okay, Sagittarians, this is your month to be humbled. Being humbled. So this month, as you want to be that star of the scorpions, remember to be aware of anything within you that needs tweaking and perfecting. Okay? Life is not a competition. So be humbled by what occurs and saying sorry to things that go wrong is always a good thing. Making sure that you can say I'm sorry is big for you guys this month moving forward. Look within you for what you need to grow. That's the message from my lady this month. Look within you for what you need to grow. Alrighty, so that's our Sagittarians for this month. And I'll just come back over here so you can look at the pelicans again. Just move down to here. There you go, our pelicans back in view. Capricorns! Oh my gosh, now. I had to be very careful when I worded Capricorns this month because I'm calling it the roller coaster ride. This is your month when emotions will be going up to extreme ups and then instantly extreme downs will occur. So please be prepared for the downsides in life that may occur this month and as things turn good Ensure that your future is prepared for that roller coaster ride. Put your helmet on, hold onto the sides of the ride, and buckle up and be prepared for what's coming if it does. So, emotions will be extreme with Capricornians this month. Okay? So, be aware of how you react and how other people see you this month. Speaking um, without thinking will be out there for you. So be very aware of any miscommunications, etc., that could arise because you're just talking without thinking of what to say first. All right, so your message from my lady, people are watching you, so respond accordingly. All right, Aquarius, your message of the month is heart and home month how good is this home is your mind this month okay so home is everything that's preoccupying you this could be thinking of things like undertaking new renovations or finishing off those smaller projects clearing out old stagnant energy is always productive moving forward so this could be where you clean out your Tupperware cupboard or get rid of linen that no longer serves you. This could be where you clean out your clothes to get a new wardrobe coming into the new seasons. So home is on your mind. It could also be relationships at home. Is everything on board with who you're living with at this point? Does something need to be done there? Because remember, heart and home month. Love is big this month with friends and family have, and they have the opportunity this month to experience what a caring and loving person you are. So my message for Aquarians, be the one others strive to be. Wow, what a nice message that is for our Aquarians this month. And now we go to our last one. It is Pisces, thank goodness, because I'm a Pisces so I'm always last good times are coming thank the angels for this all right the tide is finally turning for pisceans this month thank god that's all i'm going to say thank the angels and thank god overdue or unexpected good things are forecast this month but there is a warning enemies are watching so be aware of the ripple effect, Pisces. What we put out does come back to us. So this is not a time to gloat or to be overconfident with any windfalls that do come our way. 
this is our time to be humbled, take, take stock of the future that where we need to put things away for and to really look after others as well during this time. So the message that I got for Pisces from my lady, be that ripple effect of generosity to others. Now, I don't need to hear that one because when I find that whenever I do come into money, etc., I try to be as generous as I can or help others as much as I can with what they're going through in their own life as well. So this is a time when we all can re reap those rewards of the global energies are now changing, guys. I'm just looking over here. We've got some duck action happening. So I don't know if you can see the duck action over here. But there's quite a few ducks just over there. Okay. Well, this is Linda. I'm down at Barren Bar Lake today. It's nice and still. Look at the sky. It's overcast. The sun's not even doing much. There's the sun for you. So it is a very stagnant day here today. But I call this the eye of the storm because good things are coming. And that storm is passing over us now that's been over our heads for the past few months always go forward using love and light always hope and pray for the best in others as well as yourself and on that note i'll talk to you all again soon have a great day guys and thank you so much for watching bye